Hi, my name is Dan Mergner. I'm a registered respiratory therapist, and it's my great honor and pleasure to work with the group of people that I work with in this discipline. I'm going to talk about, in this video, non-invasive ventilation. Eventually, patients may need non-invasive ventilation. Usually, non-invasive ventilation is done at night, or HS, hour of sleep. Patients overnight may experience shortness of breath, um, dizziness, a tingling in their extremities, and that might be a good sign that you need non-invasive ventilation. That generally refers to CPAP, or in most cases for us, BiPAP. What is non-invasive? It's usually applied via mask, or some type of apparatus that goes over the nose. The fitting for these apparatus is usually what determines the comfort level of the patient, and how responsive the patient is to the therapy. This type of therapy is going to be prescribed by your doctor and closely monitored by your doctor and your respiratory therapist. Adjustments should be made when they come to visit you or when you come to visit the office. This machine is going to have a series of alarms as well if you're not breathing, not breathing enough, or if you decide to disconnect the machine. This pattern of breathing can be monitored also by the machine to tell you whether you're breathing deeply enough or sufficiently enough. Non-invasive ventilation has been proven to extend the life of patients with ALS. Thank you.